Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Never base your life on others' views and expectations of where you should be. If you do, it can be really detrimental. And why, you may be wondering. Well, everybody's life is different and everybody's journey is different. So if you think of it, out of a room of five people, everybody may want the same thing and they may well get to the same destination. However, everybody's process of how they get there is going to be be different and every single person will come up against different things in their journey and that's exactly how life can be it really really is do you know what? growing up I had so much more of a different view of how my life was going to be I've reached uh, recently the age of 31 um, and from about the age of 24 I've experienced a lot of health problems um, without going into that keeping it upbeat and positive it certainly has never defined me it's never stopped me but it has altered my course my path in life I've been very blessed in this life and I am very very thankful every single day for all of the great things in my life and for the challenges I've overcome because they've made me the person who I am now it's really difficult for me to sit here and to tell you to be positive and that storm's going to pass and there's going to be an absolutely beautiful horizon just around the corner with amazing stuff to come. But that does happen my friend, but I absolutely appreciate that right now when you're going through that or when you're looking at others and their expectations and their influence on your life of where you should probably be, it's probably different and it's probably causing you a lot of stress and anxiety. But please, 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 from a person who's been in that situation, okay, take your time, calm down, relax, and concentrate on being at peace on where you are in your life right now. Because the one thing you've got to hold on to, no matter where you are in your journey in this life, is as long as you've got that persistent drive and determination of wanting to achieve and wanting to do what you want, then you're going to get there and you're going to be fine. As I say, everybody's journey is different. And for example, I can live that uh, quite uh, quite extraordinary. I'm a twin. So for example, uh, I have up, I've come across, unfortunately, uh, a lot of, let's say, mountains in my journey, whereas my twin brother has had slightly different battles. Uh, but we ha we're both on our way to where we want to be in this life. Uh, I would say that it's slightly different places because of the issues I've had. I would say that my twin brother is probably a little bit further ahead than where I am right now in my life, but yet I'm at peace with where I am, I'm happy with what I've accomplished, and I'm feeling the rewards of my hard work. Now, I could sit here and I could say to you that actually, do you know, with what I've gone through, I could so easily have just threw the towel in and said, you know what, I'm just going to stay exactly where I am right now. But to be quite honest with you, what good would that do? It sounds awful. What good would that do? And do you know, for some people, to just stop where you are in this life. Perhaps you're going through something really, really difficult, or perhaps you're wondering what your next corner is going to be, what your next turning is going to be in your life. Perhaps you've come up against something which is really quite detrimental, or it's been a huge shock in your life. Perhaps you've come up against a bereavement. Perhaps your life's been torn to pieces. Perhaps it's a little bit more lighter than that. Perhaps you're questioning you're a younger person watching this or an older person and you're looking at what you want to next do with your life. Perhaps you've got comfortable and you want to change things up a bit in your life. Or perhaps you're embarking on something new but you're just not sure how to approach it or is it going right for you? Well, First of all, what I would always say to somebody is just take your time. There was so much pressure on us in our lives to get it right first time. And I would probably say that most of the time it doesn't happen right first time. But as long as we're prepared to get up, to go again, I love the saying and I really, really do hold it dear to my heart that it's not how you fall down, it's how you get back up. So as long as you're prepared to try new things and to try these different avenues which the, the journey of life takes us on, you're going to be okay. The minute you have to start to worry is when you have problems which are starting to affect your well-being, perhaps you're slipping into a little bit of a depression, a low mood, then is the time to really act fast and to acknowledge when you're starting to feel this. Because if you're on that path in this life and you're trying different things, you're trying different corners, you're trying to get your career off the ground, for example, or whether it be relationship goals or whether it be you're buying your first property or financial goals or one thing or another or whatever it may be, if you're not in the right mindset, it's going to be really, really hard for you to continue that journey. Because 
because let's be honest, life is not easy. But I always say to myself on a positive spin, something so incredible is life, why on earth should it be? I know a lot of people will think, why on earth are you talking that way? And how can you be so positive? Well, let's put it this way. When you face so many spikes in your life is what I have over the last couple of years, you've got no choice but to either sit there and let's throw the towel in, cry your eyes out and think, what can I do next? Or to get up, dust yourself off and go again and reap the rewards of what this incredible life has to offer. Now, it's not easy, like we've just discussed, but if you keep going, you adjust your mindset. And if you allow yourself time and never, ever, ever let other people's views and influence uh, and expectations have it any impact on your life. Now, of course, we're not talking about mum, dad, grandparents, brothers, sisters, but never ever take advice from someone where they are not where you would like to be. And I know that sounds a bit sort of hmm, how to approach that, but I always find that if somebody's giving you advice, if it's not mum, dad, nan, granddad, aunt, uncle, immediate family, okay, and it's from somebody who you've met, but yet somebody perhaps trying to give you a little bit of an influencing factor on your life, but yet they're not particularly in a great place in their life, always that should be that should be sort of firing sort of caution straight away. Just be careful who you take advice from in this life. Always do it for the right reasons. Never chase something because you feel you have to. And if your heart's not in it, then it's probably yourself telling you that it's not the right turning for you. And just stay on the path you're on. Keep going. Keep throwing yourself into new things. Keep working hard. Just acknowledge when you need to take a break. And eventually that right avenue is going to come up. You're going to take it. You're going to be enjoying it. And that's the right path for you. Now, it's not going to be the same for everybody. It's not going to be. And I think that when people base their life or their life choices on the expectations of others and the influence of others, then that's really, really dangerous because you could end up in something which, for example, let's, let's say, for example, you've trained to be a solicitor or you've trained to be a nurse or you've trained uh, and you've, you've opened your own business or you're uh, of a trade. You get there and you think, actually, do you know what? I've, I've, took the, I've took the influence from somebody or, or somebody's really been pushing me and st spurring me on to do this and actually you're there and you think, oh my goodness, I really don't like this. That is one of the worst feelings in the world. Now, I can talk from that because when I start, when I look back at my very, very early career, I took a job which I thought was going to be absolutely amazing and it sounded great. But you know what? I was sat behind a desk and... It was literally like that the whole inner structure of me just collapsed and I just sunk. The people who I worked with weren't appropriate. It wasn't right for me. It was a good job, but how they went about selling the job to me, it really made me think, Do you know what? It might not be the right decision, but I feel this is where I should be. Taking that influence from its school and sort of careers providing advice and all of those great things when you're in the school network and education network. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to take this role. It's where I should be. It's where I feel I have to be. And you know what? It was a complete utter disaster. I quickly got back up again and I quickly learned that actually never to take that sort of advice, that expectation, that influence from kind of outsiding factors of people who don't necessarily know me. And it's almost like the advice that the hierarchy of life we should take. And it's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's not a great feeling when you're there, but when you realise what you, what you need to do, um, it's a fantastic feeling. So it really is the rough with the smooth, but it comes, it comes with, I think, experience of growing up a little bit as well, and just the perseverance of keeping going and never giving up and just keeping at that path in life and just working hard and being open and being susceptible to change. But at the same time, just being careful, the influence, what you receive and, um, for example, if it's if it's mum and dad, then you, you're going to be safe. Majority of the time, you're going to be safe with their advice. Um, with friends and sort of the influence of people who think they know you, uh, just be really, really careful with that. Because in the end, you could end up with 
For example, going through life thinking, I must do this by a certain age, or I must do that by a certain age, or I've been in this job too long, I need to step up again. And ultimately, if you're happy, you're comfortable in what you're doing, then that means more than pushing yourself into a really uncomfortable situation in this life. Because after all, with the world we live in today, just to be happy is a huge, huge thing. And I think a lot of people, when we talk to our young people in society, we forget that actually, yes, we stress that education is important. We stress that actually learning and evolving ourselves and keep on working on ourselves is vitally important. But it's equally important as being happy and loving what you do. We spend a lot of time in this life working and uh, improving ourselves and uh, working to provide a living for ourselves and our families. But actually, sometimes we really do need to concentrate on the fact that if you love what you do, then that is that that's a huge piece of the puzzle in this life. If you love what you do and you can get paid for it, then fantastic. And just a lasting sort of memento of what we're talking about here, that never ever feel that if you're I don't know whether you're 18, 19, 20 and you feel that, oh, I haven't I haven't finished this course yet or I, I should have gone on to the next level or perhaps I should have gone to university. Never, ever do that to yourselves because there are so many opportunities in this world that you can get to exactly the same level as somebody who, let's be honest, is probably in, and it's not going to be right for everybody. Somebody will love their experience at university, for example, in college. Another person, it might not be right. Never feel the expectations and that influence of others and that sort of, vice effect in society that you have to follow a certain path because nowadays there are so many different avenues for you to achieve and to accomplish great things. You don't have to always put yourself in those situations and you don't have to be, do you know what I mean, accomplished by a certain age because let's be honest, people in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s are still, they're still living new challenges. They're still accomplishing new things and as long as we're healthy and well and our mind is healthy and well, then at any age you can accomplish whatever you want and you can aspire new hopes and dreams and aspirations every single day because every single day is a new adventure but the adventure of life which we're all on just be careful the advice where the advice you get from in this life and just never ever base it on the expectations and views of others of course it's great to sort of explore with advice from people but just be really really careful where you get that important information from because at the end of the day everybody's life is different everybody's journey is different and for example going back to my uh, my twin brother and I's life very very different we've chosen very very different careers uh, mine uh, finance accountancy uh, Cameron's. He is an incredible chef. He's done some incredible things and he's had an incredible journey. But then spinning it around, yes, he's probably further advanced in his career, but I've had a lot of health issues and mountains to climb. But whereas he hasn't had that, his life has took an incredible journey. He has a daughter, he has a fiance. I'm not there yet in that part of my life. I'd love to be and I hope to God that that's in my path soon. But if not, then that's absolutely fine. Um, I'm just going to keep going and walking this life, this journey of this life and hope all those great things come which I want. But from both of us, I would say that both our mum and our, our dad has been huge influences and our nan um, in both of our decisions uh, of what we've done in this life and our decisions in this life as well and our journey. Um, but we've been very careful with um, the influence and the expectations of others. For example, different people, different friends we've had. And now we kind of look back at that age of being 31 and we look back and of course it's still young, but we've got a little bit more life experience than what we were in our 20s. And we can actually use that now to build on and just to add more greater value in life and our decision making. And we can actually look back and you know what, those people who I went to school with, I actually look and I think, you know, what? they're going to be super high flyers. And actually I look back and I think, you know what, they're content with doing something which actually I would have never thought they would have settled in, but they're happy and they're doing great. And you know what? That's absolutely fine, which is fantastic that they've not took that influence, that expectation of others, and they concentrated on what they've wanted to do, where they're happy at, and enjoying life. And ultimately, it's great to achieve and it's great to have a great education behind you. And I'm an advocate for education as well. But you know what? It's not for everybody. It's not for everybody to keep going on and on and on and on. Do you know what? Some people, and I absolutely envy some people sometimes, and I have often contemplated sometimes just taking a job, which 
which I could turn up at, switch myself off, go home, enjoy life, smile. Sometimes the stress and things in my job, um, yeah, I could really do without sometimes because it has impacted on my health as well. There's no getting away from it. So going back to how we started this, just always be careful, my friends, my subscribers, anybody viewing this, where you take your advice from in this life and never ever base your life and sort of create your life and run your life on the expectations, views of others. Just be really, really careful where you get that important advice, that important direction in this life from. On that note, I really do hope that you've enjoyed what we've talked about. I certainly have. It's something which really does bother me. And you know, I talk about it like this, but I'm a, I'm a fine one. I'm always sort of thinking, should I do this? Should I do that? And I'm really having to control sort of worry and kind of uh, anxieties of uh, where I am in my life. Um, and we just need to have a little bit more confidence in ourselves, I think. So on that note, thanks very much for sharing that with me. And until next time, God bless, take great care, and I look forward to seeing you then. Bye for now.